there should be no monopoly, yeah. willing to pay the originator a suitable compensation, and that India should not be deprived of newer drugs and be at the mercy of uh, the innovators. Now today, for example, uh, your um, bird flu or swine flu is an example. Your patent on Oseltamivir in America expires only in 2016. Another three years to go. Okay? God forbid there is an epidemic. What happens? Should the destiny of the world be in the hands of one company, Hirosh? That's my question to you. I remember at the height of the problem in America, Donald McNeil phoning me and says, Yusuf, could you supply Oseltamavir for children? Suspension. I said, my product is approved in WHO, not in America because the patent only expires in 2016. Would you be uh, willing to supply to the American government? I said, of course. Anywhere in the world. Uh, you know, life, I, I'm there to save lives. You see, I, I'm a firm believer, Professor, that if you are in the healthcare business like CIPLA is, it's not a business per se. It is business plus you're saving lives. So it has to be, has to have a humanitarian angle to it. 